Bridging a river or estuary, generating a flood or an exceptional tide, understanding an entire site at a glance, all of these become possible in the world of physical scale modeling. In Artelia's laboratory, covering a 15,000 square meter area, everything is constantly changing. The models come in different shapes and sizes, minutely detailed, highly accurate, yet fleeting. They last a few months, a year, or a little longer, however long it takes to assess the potential solutions and formulate recommendations. In this world, where everything is miniaturized, the scales adopted vary between one to a tenth and one to a thousandth, depending on the needs of the study, and they may be distorted horizontally or vertically. Scale models are irreplaceable for fine-tuning structural designs and addressing environmental management issues and can be used to reproduce and study complex hydraulic and hydro-sedimentary phenomena which still lie partly beyond the reach of numerical modelling. In fact, the two approaches are often complementary. Artelia has all the know-how required to provide advice and recommend the most suitable methods at each project stage. It is also important to understand that an investment in a model, however complex it may be, is more than offset by the savings of all kinds that are brought about by performing the study. Another major asset for project owners is the ability of a physical model to draw together all the stakeholders in a project offering invaluable assistance during decision making. Each test is interpreted in detail by the engineers and their findings are used to fine tune the design of the structure. To manage torrential risks in the area around Chamonix in France, this study is focusing on diverting a torrent that is eroding an unstable mountain slope. Upstream, a selective water intake channels water and sediment into a tunnel. Downstream, the solution takes the form of a sediment deposition area that stores material transported during exceptional floods. Floods are also at the heart of this study of a motorway project in southwestern France. To minimize the impact on the motorway on flooding in the Ile and Dordogne plains, two interactive physical and mathematical models were built simultaneously. In the energy sector, scale model studies play a major role in the design of complex hydropower schemes. For example, in this study of a prefabricated hydropower plant transported on a barge up a branch of the Mississippi in the United States, a scale model showed how plant performance could be improved. Thanks to the model, the impact of the dam on navigation conditions was identified and a solution for removing floating objects was found. Artelia's laboratory also uses physical scale models to study the operation of urban hydraulic structures such as pumping stations. The main aims are to check the pump supply conditions, to prevent water rotation at the inlet and the subsequent formation of vortices. bottom outlet of the immense Katsi Dam in Lesotho is being modelled in order to optimise energy dissipation on the downstream side. In this other model, the design of the flood spillways and downstream stilling basins is being tested to ensure the safety of another dam, Lorberia in the French Pyrenees. In the context of the project to extend the port of Calais, Artelia teams were appointed for several phases of the studies. At the preliminary design stage, hydro-sedimentary models were used to understand the influence of the new port on the existing environment. Numerical wave flume calculations were then performed in order to pre-size the breakwater before testing its stability by means of a physical model. The 
The offshore wave intensity is gradually increased during the tests in order to observe hydrodynamic impact on the different parts of the breakwater structure. Several sensors measure the pressure induced by the waves on the concrete structure of one of the roundheads. Thanks to these tests, the overall scheme design was optimised and validated. With the same aim of checking and optimising the hydraulics of a complex structure, Artelia built a model of the feeder flue ducts at the Asher wastewater treatment plant. The model validated the hydraulic operation of all parts of the system during both the works and the operating phase. Watching these engineers and technicians, it becomes clear that faithfully reproducing physical reality is more than just science. It's also an art, combining creativity and attention to detail. It also requires mastery of complex control and measuring techniques, random and multi-directional wave generators, echo sounders, high sensitivity sensors, control PLCs and interactive software applications for processing data in real time. A study is hydrodynamic when it examines the movement of water and its consequences and sedimentological when it analyzes the behavior of sediment such as sand and mud on the bed of a river or the sea. The rivers Loire, Seine and Somme and Mont Saint-Michel Bay are examples of sites on which hydro sedimentary studies have been performed in order to find sustainable solutions for protecting natural heritage. For the Loire estuary, the main aim is to finalise development projects that preserve the fragile wetlands. A highly precise laboratory simulation of silt dynamics was performed to validate the proposed schemes. Following the extension of the port of La Havre in the early 2000s and the subsequent loss of stopover sites for wild birds, an artificial island was created in the Seine estuary in 2005. This island acts as a nature reserve for more than 60 different species. Today, more than 10,000 birds are observed there every year. The model of the Somme Bay shown here is helping to find solutions to maintain the port access channels while preserving a balanced ecosystem. A number of solutions were proposed for the Mont Saint-Michel site, which is becoming filled with sediment. Movable bed models have been built to study sand and silt movement and to analyse in great detail the effectiveness of new development works aimed at facilitating water and sediment circulation with a view to restoring the maritime character of this remarkable prestigious site. From source to mouth, the projects performed at Artelia's laboratory concern the rivers and coast of all five continents. The laboratory is internationally known and recognised as the ideal place for technicians and owners to finalise their projects. Often truer than life, today's physical scale models are capable of accurately incorporating more and more parameters and proposed solutions reconciling technical, economic and environmental constraints. They bring all the stakeholders together and accompany them through every stage of their project. <laughs>